this world is for um, each other. We need to help each other, and we need places to stay at, not buying up houses or robbing stores or none of that. Like kicking in stores, stealing, taking all the shoes and taking the money. Like we need the money, and the white people just not trying to get back our money so we can build all this stuff over again, so it can look more better how it was now. Cause this world is not. I don't see. I I see in the future that this world is gonna be like destroyed. I think it's a manifestation of what happens when you put people in condi dire conditions, you know, in a society that doesn't value who they are as human beings. Um, and that create, you know, Freddie Gray is symbolic of the devastation that people have been feeling in their communities and continue to feel. Um, and so what we're seeing is the eruption of that. Um, and the only sustainable solution to that problem is to actually deal with the cause of the conditions that produce the anger over Freddie Gray's uh, death at the hand of law enforcement. And, and you know, we can try to you know, tell people, particularly young people, you know, got to get your act together, got to do this and that. But those aren't sustainable solutions um, to really getting broad-based change. But when it's time for black and brown people to express their anger and outrage, it's always told, no, be calm, be peaceful, when violence is consistently inflicted upon us. So that alone is interesting to me. So in my mind, these aren't riots. And to be quite honest, I wouldn't even consider this violence. This is just an expression of anger. May it may be misplaced and misdirected, that's subjective. Each, to each person that's going to vary. But the reality is this, is, this was bound to happen. You can't kill black and brown people consistently and expect them not to feel the type of way the next time it happens. I personally don't consider them riots. I consider them like a, a, an unrest type of deal. Because um, it's, it's not really just because Freddie Gray is dead. It's because this has been brewing for like years, years. Black people have just been sitting back, waiting for like, or watching police attack us for no reason and kill people at the hands of their own people, um, like Tyrone West and Anthony Anderson, just black people dead, dropped by flies because of cops, the people that we were taught to trust.